Hi, this is Jihad of Nasriya uh, and welcome to my kitchen. I've been in Dubai for the last 13 years and I work as a TV producer. Today I'll be presenting a very traditional Tunisian dish called Brik. Uh, Brik is, is cooked in various uh, different ways. It can be with tuna, it can be with chicken, it can be with, uh, with meat. However, the one that I'll be presenting today is with tuna. For the ingredients, we need olive oil, sunflower oil, chili pepper, salt, black pepper, capers, Parsley, one onion, eggs, and pastry sheet, or they're, they're called uh, Chinese uh, egg rolls, like, it depends. Like, in Tunis, we call it actually malsuqa, which is a very thin sheet of uh, pastry. Now we need to uh, make a saute out of the onions, uh, parsley, and uh, tuna. We'll start off with the onions. We put a little bit of olive oil and sunflower oil. Brik for me is very special since it reminds me of my late grandmother Nasriya. She used to make it very uh, yummy and special since she used to put all her love and care in it. And all of the uh, ingredients were fresh and organic from the farm. So it was a very uh, special tradition that she used to arrange for whenever we travel back home. It's kind of a welcoming dish for us. It always reminds me of her. Then we add uh, the parsley. For this amount, uh, if it's for four people, we'll need uh, half a bunch of uh, parsley if, if it's large and uh, a full one if it's uh, small. And then a bit of black pepper, a bit of salt, but not too much since uh, the capers are already salty. Now we can add a bit of chili pepper, but again, this is depending on your preference and your flavor, like if you like chili or not and then half a teaspoon of uh, capers and then the tuna the tuna I have here is actually from Tunisia uh, back in Tunisia they preserve the uh, uh, tuna in olive oil unlike uh, the tuna we get here it's in sunflower oil or different kind of oil so the flavor is different and even it looks different it's a bit darker than the tuna we get from here. It can actually, like those ingredients actually can be found in Carrefour sometimes. Now the uh, uh, the filling of the uh, brik is, is ready, so I, I need to place it in a plate and then I'll show you how to fill in the brik and how to fry it. Okay, we get... Usually I use two sheets since they are very thin. So as I said, I, I need two and I make sure that I put the other the rest back soon and close it up because it dries very quickly. You remove the sheets very softly so they don't break. This is one and this is two. And then you bring the filling, you make a circle. Usually it's better to use a deeper uh, plate since I'm gonna break uh, the egg in the middle so you don't want it to flow. We break the egg inside and then slowly you take it and you place it in the frying pan with the hot oil, it should be hot previously and make sure like you tighten the corners so it doesn't leak, bring the oil like this. And then depending on your preference, it can be well done, like the egg, it can be well done, medium done, half cooked, like some people they like it runny. As I said earlier, you can always have uh, different stuffing, for example, you can put uh, chicken or meat. The main ingredients that you, you, you always have to have in the brik are parsley, uh, onions uh, and the egg of course. However, you can add whatever depending on your preference and different places in Tunisia they do it differently and with different ingredients. And now the brik is ready as you can see. We usually squeeze a bit of lemon um, on it to enhance the flavor and, and all. And again usually we eat it with, we present it with, uh, with the soup or with a, with a salad. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>